Hi Virgo, welcome to this reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Okay, Queen of Wands reversed, Ten of Wands reversed, messages for Virgo, Four of Wands reversed, Three of Cups. Suddenly I'm feeling a bit spacey, like I've got a headache as well. Knight of Cups reversed. Wow, with the Queen of Wands reversed, Knight of Cups reversed, I do wonder maybe somebody drank a little too much and they might sort of be regretting it the next day. I don't know if this is you or you might think that your person has done this. It could be a one-off, it could be something they tend to do that you, and you maybe have a bit of a problem with it. Eight of Wands reversed, King of Pentacles, the Tower in reverse, Scorpio energy there. We have the Four of Cups reversed. Um... There is a third party here that I think you already know about. Now, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be, but it could be just something to do with the structure. It could be um, like ancestral family. It could be uh, work. I keep hearing religion for some reason. Um, with me thinking of Taurus, Taurus represented by the Hierophant. Yeah, there could be something to do with an institution, a religion, a set of beliefs, a culture, traditions, that sort of thing. But I feel, I feel okay, I feel... Your person's got themselves into a bit of a mess. They want a new start with you. I think you already have a history here with the Four of Cups coming out reversed. I do think they need to make a decision. With the Tower being reversed, it's like they're reluctant to make this decision because it will bring in what they consider to be a Tower moment. That's what they anticipate. Um, I do tend to feel that once the Tower shows up, you have a limited amount of time to take the initiative yourself before Spirit decides to make this happen. Um... I think there are things left unsaid that they want to say to you and that's weighing on them. They won't feel happy until they've said it. I think they have some habits, some traits, some behaviours that are kind of low frequency and make them feel bad. Like it could be drinking too much, it could be anything like that. Overindulgence that brings them down. You could also feel like you have not been respected fully in the past, that this person had a good time with you but what didn't want to or weren't able to offer you know, more commitment to follow. Oh, there's a knot here. Let's see. Yeah, look, there we have the Hierophant. What's beside it? The Knight of Coins. Yeah, you might feel like they're moving too slowly. There's some foundation they're in already. And um, they might have said, oh, I want to choose you. I want to leave, blah, blah, blah. But they're going very slowly. Okay. Queen of Wands reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Two of Cups reversed. I do wonder for some of you if you had what feels like a full start here, like this did start to move forward and um, it didn't reach its full potential. But the connection is still felt. Knight of Swords, you see? They're getting very impatient. You might get this communication very suddenly, very unexpectedly. And it might come through not in the softest, most gentle way, but how the cards were coming out when I was pre-shuffling them, which is just like, you know, bam, bam, bam. Like, <laughs> they know, the cards know what... what they want to say which ones want to come out your person's the same i know what i want to say so here i am doing it how is virgo going to feel please with this communication with this knight of swords how's virgo likely to feel hmm. four of cups okay well they get their message across you understand exactly what they're saying which is that they want a new beginning but you're less convinced than they are you're going to have to think about it you're going to want time to ask yourself is this what's best yes i still have romantic feelings for this person but what action am i going to take we have temperance reversed so i think whatever this other situation is it's not as secure and as stable as it might seem which i think you know anyway um, I'm hearing deluding themselves, so I don't know if you're you're feeling like your person's deluding themselves in some way by staying in this situation, or they think that they are pulling the wall over other people's eyes, but they're not, at least they're not with you. Um, we have Sagittarius energy there. Three of Swords reversed, wow, look at that. Okay. I almost feel, Virgo, that for many of you watching, you've had something with this person, something um, where you've interacted and something physical, whether it's that you spoke face to face, you spent time together, you were physically intimate, whatever it is, I think there's been some sort of a start. Even if you were, you know, messaging, texting, 
something has happened beyond just thoughts and feelings. But then something's here in the middle. I don't think it came up unexpectedly. I think it was here all along, whatever this third situation, person, factor is. But you may have been led to believe this is going to end soon. You know, your person's going to make a decision about this or something like that. And they didn't. Well, they did, in fact. And maybe they chose this situation instead of you or they, they failed to choose. So you just had to pull yourself away, leaving them in this situation. And it's it's like an unresolved wound here. Three of Swords reversed. It's not super fresh. I don't think this just happened yesterday, but it's still, it's a, it's painful. The memory of it, you know, the, the mental memory, the emotional memory is painful. Um, and your person feels there's, there's much, I'm hearing much left that's unsaid. So there's a lot left to say here as far as they're concerned. And beyond just saying something to you, they still are saying, well, I want to choose you, but I am very scared of going through a tower moment here. I almost feel that if they come back around with this communication, you're not going to just jump in because, you know, your romantic self wants you to. It's like you're listening to your logical self as well that's saying, I don't know, think about the past, look at the the um, probability here. What's the probability that this person is actually going to leave this other situation this time or make the changes they need to make this time? If you resonate with your person um, having um, a habit or a trait or even a bit of an addiction here that's kind of you know low frequency like again knight of cups and maybe let's take the example of drinking too much i think once they've done that you know once they've once they've been drinking once they're in that place of i've, I've had too much to drink you know that's when they really are um, thinking about you and and being honest with themselves and saying i know what i need to do here um I need to reach out to Virgo, I need to speak my truth, I need to leave this foundation, this commitment, this contract I've signed, I need to step away from that. Okay, let's see, is there anything else that Virgo needs to know? Yes, Two of Swords, you see it's all about decisions, except I think this time it's about your decision as well. Do you want to move forward with this person or without them? You know, it's not just that you're all in and they have a decision to make. Oh, see, look at that, the devil reversed, exactly. You might be saying, well, how, these these things you were doing or the way you were showing up, have you got control of that? Have you worked on that? Also, if you resonate with the devil's being some sort of um, third energy or person that has a hold on, on your person, you might be wanting to know, right, what's going on with that truly? You know, how much of a factor is this situation now? We have Capricorn energy there. Oh, and the lovers. Wow, the flip side of the devil. Okay, Gemini, um, again, talking about a big choice. But this is very positive. This, you know, coming out of the shadow, stepping back into the light aspect of this connection. This could, for some of you, be an incredibly intense and strong connection here. We could be looking at twin flames, soulmates. Um, but yeah, the devil's reverse and lovers is upright. So that's positive. That's encouraging. Um, but yes, it's like you're not just looking at the lovers anymore. You're looking at the whole package, which comes with a shadow side, as everything does, you know. Um, so, yes, you're making kind of a logical decision, I see, moving forward. Um, OK, let's get you some guidance and advice here. I do see, you know, as I said, this Knight of um, Swords. I think your person will come in and say whatever needs to be said. With the Eight of Wands reversed, it's something they've had a long time to say. They could probably have just sent you an email, a message, made a phone call at any point, and they haven't. And I think the way they choose to communicate with you might be surprising, unexpected. Um, but honest, you know, and you will, you will be able to truly hear and understand exactly what they mean. I'm not seeing any misunderstandings at all. Okay, so what is the message, please, for Virgo? Guidance and advice for Virgo, please, Spirit. Oh, my goodness, I've not done the messages. Okay, right, well, we'll carry on with this and then we'll we'll get the messages in a minute. Um, my goodness, we have the number 14 and it says debilitated, discomfort. Wow, I haven't seen this card before. Now, that's incredible because that's exactly what I have been feeling from this person right from when I had that headache at the start which is that they do something that's debilitating they debilitate themselves but also this situation in this foundation where we have that word delusional or deluding um 
that is debilitating and it's uncomfortable as well that's exactly the message but let's um let's see what the book says and if we break down you know one and four and add them together we get five which is huge change but sometimes very difficult challenging personal change if you put a well-organized city dweller deep in the wild woods they'd be accidentally debilitated out of their element and pushed to live up to their potential they may be uncomfortable, but the situation offers a chance to stretch further and develop their soul. The same goes for a planet in a sign or placement that's awkward with its nature. For example, Mercury is the least mercurial when it's in Pisces, opposite the Sun Virgo, which it rules. Here, Mercury can bestow a great mind, um, but in an intuitive, integrated, imaginative way, not a mind to escape in purely intellectual pursuits. Okay, this is interesting because I pulled a card also for uh, Leo and I felt the same with Leo that this wasn't so much guidance and advice for them but a heads up as to what their person's going through. I do think a tower will come in for your person if they don't take the initiative by themselves they will be put into an uncomfortable position here um, and in terms of that message around communication I don't know, we saw that there's something, they've been delaying putting off communication in a way that seems obvious, but they're doing it in a surprising way that maybe feels uncomfortable for you, it's uncomfortable for them, but there's something about this communication not being, not coming through in the way you thought or how you expected. Um, maybe they're saying things that you never thought you would hear them say. Right, let's get to these messages then. Um, please give me the space I need. I have to figure this out on my own so I can feel proud of myself. I honestly think someone's doing black magic on me or something. If you know how to fix that, could you please? I just feel blocked at every turn, it's aggravating. Okay, so I can see a very, like I said, low frequency or low vibrational energy. So your person could be feeling like they keep trying to break, you know, this hold or these chains or these patterns of behavior to better themselves but they keep getting dragged back and they're starting to wonder is there something outside of me that's that's playing a factor here or it could be you know if we think of the devil it could be that um as i said they, they might have some traits that aren't so healthy for themselves and um the process of stepping away from that it, it has such a hold on them it might feel like it's it's someone outside of them you know that's doing something but um either way they're struggling to some degree I'm so sorry, I will make this right by you, I love you. I mean, and look how direct that is, straight to the point. They might say something like this and you're blown away. You know, maybe you'll say, my person has never said they love me. They never apologize. <laughs> they never admit they've done anything wrong and you get all three together. Um, inseparable, our love is always there despite the distance. And I'm seeing that here with the two of cups reversed. It's not an ideal situation, but you can both still feel the connection. I just got caught up in the moment. So there could be a regret about something they did in the past, something foolish that affected you in this connection. We have Nervous, which actually just came out for Leo as well. We have Night Owl and we have You Hypnotize Me. Okay, so as I said, I do, th I, you know, I can see this person almost sitting there at night if they've had too much to drink, thinking about you. Now, of course, not for all of you, that's not going to be the thing. But if they have something they do, um, it's a bit de detrimental to them and it could even be something like exercise that we think of as healthy but if we do it too much it's not the best you know and it's like whenever they've done whatever that thing is that's when they spend a lot of time thinking about you so it could be at night or it could just be at a time when you know they're, they're alone they're left alone they're at peace um there's nobody around um this is interesting we have you hypnotize me so obviously they're saying, you know, you're incredible, I'm stunned by you, by how you look, by how you are, everything, you know, I'm, I'm just enamored with you. But hypnotize, black magic, we have the devil. I do wonder if this is someone who, um, when they give themselves to something, they give themselves completely, which can be wonderful, but it can also be something that they need to work on and set firmer boundaries because they could get swayed and pulled here, there and everywhere. And that could possibly be how with the four of, wands and the the king of pentacles how they found themselves beholden to some sort of foundation contract situation that's not working for them because they sort of just got sucked in and absorbed by it for others of you it could be this person struggles to take ownership of themselves or they have in the past um but yeah okay so this person is, is very clearly very very um in love with you into you wants to make this right um 
and I think they will have this impulse to suddenly do it. Perhaps this tower will shock them into doing it. But yeah, like I said, I don't see you, however romantic you are by nature as an individual or however much in love with this person you are, I see you making kind of like a rational choice, actually, balancing head and heart. And her eyes are closed, you know, so maybe really asking your intuition as well. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave this here, Virgo. So thank you so much for spending your time and being here. I hope it's helped and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye.